So, okay, so I went to a doctor who yeah. has the word shit in his name. Okay, listen wow. to this. This is classic. I went with Heather, right, who's my best friend. Um, and so we go there. <laughs> this older guy, like all messed up, comes in with like a notepad and goes, uh, so you're going to have like uh, dialysis of the kidney or some shit like that. I'm like, wait, what? No. I'm like, wait a minute. First of all, I like doctors that know their parts. Like, my kidneys are fine. Yes, yes, my kidneys. I swear to God, they put a restraining order on Doctor Blap shit. Okay, they put. They were like, hell no, we run out of there, girl. And so I call the insurance. I'm like, hell no to Doctor shit. We're gonna call him Doctor shit. And because I swear to God, his name has the word shit in it. I'll tell you after we hang. We, we, I'll tell you his name. Uh, so a cardiologist, I was like, thank God. You know, if it's going through the heart, I want a cardiologist who knows. And I know it's not like they puncture your heart. But, you know, to me in my head, that's what I was like. They were coming with like, you know, uh, an arrow like, okay, now you're done. Yeah, no. Mm. So anyway, um, so yeah, so the the surgery is actually not that bad because they don't put you under completely you know it's no, like yeah it's a twilight with yeah. less drugs it's called fentanyl oh my god I yeah four times less. yes oh i know and I, i'm always like when i'm on the table i'm like okay you know, like, you know they put the, the stuff like the butterfly and i'm like oh okay have you started oh yeah it's going through, isn't it? They're like, yeah, we just started. I'm like, ah, the ceiling looks awesome. And it's like oh. the ugliest ceiling you've ever seen. <laughs> so did it hurt going in initially? Because my veins, like, I can feel everything. I can feel the change from saline to uh, Tylenol to whatever they give me. Like, I can tell the difference. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. My body. So when the fentanyl hit the first time, it was like searing pain. It was like someone was burning me from the Yes, me too. Okay. Yes, we don't tell you that. I was, and I was looking at him. I swear to God, because I was high. Yeah, I was, I was, I cursed him out. I was like, oh yeah, it's so, ah, it's like, why is my arm burning? You're burning my arm. And then the nurse was so sweet. She was like, she grabbed my hand. She was like, it's okay. And I was, and I, I, before I fell asleep, I'm like, what did you tell me? I was going to feel this. Like, come on. Really? But then you go, ah. I know. Yeah, everything's okay. Yes, yes. No, I, <laughs> I had a conversation with my doctor as he was putting my cord in. Like, I could feel it. He was doing something. And I was like, oh, feels like you're pulling my skin. He's like, I am. I'm making the pocket bigger. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Interesting. Interesting. Ay, ay, ay. No, <laughs> you were not fully asleep then. No, I was, uh, I was just very, very high. <laughs> I pass out every time they give me Ativan or whatever. I'm like, hi, and then I pass out. I fall asleep. I, I get very grateful and a little chatty, like inquisitive. I'm like, oh. I would like to learn everything I can about what you're doing right now. Thank you so much. Maybe you can talk me through what you're doing. Because I, when I'm on the drugs, none of it faces me. It's when we're not on the drugs that I'm like, oh, blood. Oh, no, I can't. I know. I know. Uh, I, when I got my port out, um, before I was getting prepped. I was in the hospital. They're doing the things. Oh my gosh! I videoed all of that too. Friends, just wait for the documentary. It'll air here first. <laughs> um, they get me into the room, and I, I talked talk to the nurses beforehand. And I was like, I'm so curious. I would love to see my port. I want to say thank you to her. I just, I really want to see her. And they're like, Oh, okay. And then one of the nurses even said, Do you want to take her home? And in my head, I was like, Oh. If it's sanitary, if I'm allowed to, yeah. So I go, yeah, because I'm thinking, I'm going to put it in a clear Christmas ornament and I'll hang it on my tree every year. Again, I'm a weirdo. It's fine. But I get into the room. I'm talking to the doctors and they're like, yeah, we can't. It's biomedical waste, but we can show it to you if you want. And I was like, yes, I do. I do. You saw it. I saw it. One of the nurses, he, he's telling me before they're even taking it out, he shows me a box. He goes, this is what it is. And I was like, uh-huh, I've seen the picture before. I want to see mine. <laughs> and they showed it to me. The doctor was so sweet. The little tube still had a little bit of my blood. I'm like, it was, yeah. <laughs> There's no way. It's like, hide that shit from me. Hide everything. Yeah, no, I don't want, some people like want their like appendix 
appendix and there are polyps and stuff. I was like, just go ahead, take them out, I, throw them in the trash. No, thanks. You no, know, when I got my tonsils out, it was one of the saddest things. They wouldn't let me see them. I just want to see them. I don't <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we no. Have <laughs> we all do. I have some quirks. Absolutely. So. 